In this example, we will find the least common multiple for each set of numbers. In part A, we will find the LCM for 6 and 8. In method 1, we'll list the multiples of each number and find the smallest common number in both lists. List the first six multiples of 6. Now list the first six multiples of 8. The smallest number that occurs in each set is 24. So the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. In method 2, we'll find the prime factors of each number. Collect the prime factors that occur most often for each number and multiply them together. The prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. The prime factors of 8 are 2, 2, and 2. The number 2 occurs most frequently in the prime factorization of 8. Pull out all of the 2's. The number 3 occurs most frequently in the prime factorization of 6. Pull out the 3. Multiply the numbers together to get the LCM of 24. This is the same answer we obtained using method 1 earlier. In part B, we'll find the LCM of 7 and 14. In method 1, we'll list the multiples of each number and find the smallest common number in both lists. List the first six multiples of 7. Now list the first six multiples of 14. The smallest number that is common to both lists is 14. So the LCM for 7 and 14 is 14. In method 2, we'll find the prime factors for each number. Collect the prime factors that occur most often for each number and multiply them together. Seven can be written as one times seven. Fourteen has factors of two and seven. The number two occurs most often in the prime factorization of fourteen. Pull out the two. Seven occurs the same number of times in each factorization, so we can pull out a seven from either row. We'll pull out the seven from the bottom row. Position the seven. Multiplying two and seven, we get the LCM of fourteen. This is the same value we got earlier using method one. In part C, we'll find the LCM of 48 and 180. In method 1, we'll list the multiples of each number and find the smallest common number in both lists. List the first six multiples of 48. Now list the first six multiples of 180. This method is not working out too well. We would have to make very long lists to find the LCM. Let's try the second method.
In method 2, we'll find the prime factors of each number. Collect the prime factors that occur most often for each number and multiply them together. Find the prime factors of 48 using a factor tree. Six and eight are factors of 48. Three and two are factors of six. Four and two are factors of eight. Two and two are factors of four. Now find the prime factors of 180 using a factor tree. Eighteen and ten are factors of 180. Nine and two are factors of 18. Two and five are factors of 10. Nine breaks down to three and three. We can write 48 as the product of its prime factors. Two times two times two times two times three. We can also write 180 as a product of its prime factors, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Stack the products so we can find the LCM. The number 2 occurs most often in the top row. Pull out all of the 2's. The number 3 occurs most often in the bottom row. Pull out the 3's. Five occurs the most often in the bottom row. Pull out the 5. Multiply all the primes together to get 720. This is the LCM of 48 and 180. In Part D, we'll find the LCM of 8, 9, and 21. In Method 1, we'll list the multiples of each number and find the smallest common number in both lists. List the first six multiples of 8. List the first six multiples of 9. Now list the first six multiples of 21. This method is not working out too well. We would have to make very long lists to find the LCM. Let's try the second method. In method 2, we'll find the prime factors of each number. Collect the prime factors that occur most often for each number and multiply them together. Eight has prime factors of two, two, and two. Nine has prime factors of three and three. Twenty-one has prime factors of three and seven. The number 2 occurs most often in the prime factorization of 8. Pull out the 2's. The number 3 occurs most often in the prime factorization of 9. Pull out the 3's. Seven occurs most in the prime factorization of 21. Pull out the seven. Multiply the primes together to get the LCM of 504.